Not everyone will know character actor Peter Mark Richmond by name, but they'll likely recognize him from at least one of his performances. One such performance was a recurring role on the classic TV sitcom Three's Company. In that show, he played the father of Suzanne Somers' character Chrissy Snow. On top of getting to work with Suzanne Somers, Richmond also got to work with other notable actresses over his long career. Some famous actresses he met include Audrey Hepburn and Sophia Loren. Join Factsverse as we take a comprehensive look at all that Peter Mark Richmond brought to the table and pay our respects to the late character actor. R.I.P. Peter Mark Richmond, Three's Company Actor. Peter Mark Richmond was born in 1927. He was born Marvin Jack Richmond and was credited for many years simply as Mark Richmond. However, the actor eventually decided on a longer stage name. Although Richmond certainly became a rich man through his numerous appearances on film and television, he wasn't always so well off. In fact, the story of Peter Mark Richmond is somewhat rags to riches. He was born in Philadelphia. His parents were Jewish and his father was a simple contractor. Peter was always interested in acting, but his family had other plans. His father passed away when he was only 16, which left Peter's older brother as his surrogate father. His brother advised him he should pursue a trade career instead of one in the arts. Because of this, Peter went to pharmacy school and became a licensed and practicing pharmacist. The job paid the young man only $35 a week. All the while, the bright lights of Hollywood called out to him, and he eventually decided it was time for him to pursue his dreams. In 1952, he abandoned his post as a pharmacist and began pursuing his dream career as an actor. In 1953, he met his wife, Helen. They stayed married until Peter's death nearly 70 years later. Peter Mark Richman went on to make his debut in a feature film in 1956. He had already gotten several small roles in television, receiving several credits as a member of New York's Actors Studio. His first feature film role was in the 1956 film Friendly Persuasion, under the director of filmmaker William Wyler. Peter was still living in New York at the time and was finding it was much easier to get TV roles there than roles in feature films. Deciding to pursue a career in films, he eventually decided to move to Hollywood in 1961. Moving out to Hollywood came along with some big breaks, as Peter was cast in the films The Murder Men and The Crime Busters that very year. In those films, Peter played the character of Nicholas Kane. He went on to portray that character for a few years on the TV show Kane's Hundred, after the popularity of those two films. Kane's Hundred only lasted for a couple of years, from 1961 to 62 on NBC, but Peter's career continued to live on for many years after its cancellation. Despite his ambition to be a feature film star, most of Peter Mark Richmond's credits ended up being on television. However, he found major success on TV that was nothing to balk at. He appeared in minor roles in a ton of shows. Such shows included Bonanza, Knight Rider, and The Incredible Hulk. He also had a somewhat larger role in the TV show Dallas during the 80s. However, it was a recurring role in the 70s on the hit sitcom Three's Company that most people likely remember him for. He also went on to make several more minor appearances in films, including Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, in 1989. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Despite often taking the back seat to other stars, Peter Mark Richmond definitely had a full career. During it, he got the chance to meet many celebrities. Because of this, he had a lot of interesting stories to share before his passing. He made over 500 television appearances during his long career and also made appearances in numerous feature films. On top of the TV programs we already mentioned, he got to appear in Star Trek The Next Generation and The Twilight Zone. And he had some first-hand experience with many stars, including Bruce Lee, Audrey Hepburn, and Sophia Loren. Richmond put all of his Hollywood tales to good use, writing them all down in his memoir. This memoir, titled I Saw a Molten White Light, was published shortly before the actor's death in 2021 at the age of 93. Peter Mark Richmond was always fascinated by Hollywood and was likely glad to have gotten the chance to be a fly on the wall for many a film and TV production. During his feature film debut in 1956's Friendly Persuasion, he got to work with Hollywood legend Gary Cooper. According to Richmond, the star was an absolute gentleman who taught him the value of simplicity as far as making your mark as an actor. Many years later, in 1971, he got to work with Hollywood legend Bruce Lee a few years before he passed away. According to Richmond, Lee taught him kung fu. However, Peter was always better at old-fashioned traditional boxing. 
According to Richmond, Sophia Loren was the sexiest female he'd ever come across. The two of them chatted, and it was a moment that Richmond would never forget. He also got to work with actress Ava Marie Saint on a film production known as The Rainmaker. His first brush with Audrey Hepburn came during the production of his feature film debut, Friendly Persuasion. Audrey was close with the film's director, William Wyler. Despite all of Richmond's work, he will likely continue to be best known for his stint on Three's Company. According to Peter, he was initially cast for a simple guest star role on the show. But his chemistry with Suzanne Somers was so great, he was brought on multiple times for a recurring role. He played her character's father, and Somers has always spoken fondly about his performance. However, when Summers was eventually fired from the show after demanding a pay increase, there was no longer any reason for her character's father to continue appearing. So, Peter was fired as well. After his role on Three's Company came to an end, Richmond continued to find consistent work playing minor characters in hit TV shows. He made appearances on shows like Star Trek The Next Generation. But as he was growing older, his true passion was always his family. With his wife, he went on to have five children. And when those children got older, they produced six grandchildren for the Hollywood couple. Peter has always had fondness for the arts outside of acting. When he wasn't acting, he could generally be seen at home painting. He painted nearly every day until his death. In the 90s, he also gained some notoriety after writing some successful plays. One play, which was produced under the name Four Faces, also went on to be adapted into a feature film. Surely, Peter Mark Richmond was a man never wanting for creativity. Despite never quite achieving the Hollywood stardom he yearned for, he had an incredibly successful and full life among the stars. Peter Mark Richmond certainly had an impressive resume in both film and TV. Comment down below to share your favorite moment from his long career, or your favorite comedic moment between him and his on-screen daughter in Three's Company. And as always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Factsverse for more. Click the bell icon to stay notified of all our latest content.